18, Anchor versus Penn, 2, Saturday, August 28th. Check your local listings. And he is looking to shock the world. Good right hand. He goes in and beats one of the greatest fighters ever to live. He's running around. Just step up and fight. People saying, oh, he really didn't win it. And then I see his whole team run and pick him up. All your boys put you on the shoulder and dance you around at the judges and try to steal the victory. I'm not going to be a part of that. And new USC! Whatever, man, that's the man you are. You're the ultimate fighting champion, okay? I got you. It's a joke. This is it. PJ's the greatest lightweight ever, and I just beat him. August 28th is the first time the UFC comes to Boston. The perfect city to have the ultimate fighting championship. And I guarantee you, the intensity in that arena that night is going to be second to none. The main event is a rematch, a very controversial fight, where Frankie Edgar edged BJ Penn and took away the title. BJ Penn, one of the very best pound-for-pound fighters in the world. He has this aura about him. You know, he was the best lightweight forever in the lightweight division. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the greatest lightweight in the history of the sport. Has outstanding takedown defense, incredible balance, knockout power. He is highly, highly motivated coming into this fight. Frankie being the first lightweight that has defeated him in a long, long time. And I think BJ is going to come into this fight to try to take away that loss, try to erase it, try to rebound from that. Frankie Edgar is a really interesting lightweight. No one's had an answer for Frankie Edgar. Fast combinations by Frankie Edgar. Incredible footwork. He's very, very fast on his feet. Frankie was slipping and picking and moving and put on an incredible boxing display for a kid who's got a wrestling background. Yeah, again, again. Nice He holds on to a guillotine. Wow. Every time you see him, he's an improved fighter. The Sean Shirk fight. Nice and combination again. again. He showed outstanding movement in boxing. The Matt Veach fight, he capitalized on hurting Matt Veach. Oh, God, he hurt him. Got him down and strangled him. He's got it. It's all over. We're gonna see an even better Frankie Edgar now that he's got the title. I painted a you know bullseye on my chest and uh, everyone's gunning for me. You can't uh, sit on your high horse and expect just to keep that title. You have to work hard for it. I train hard, focus, determination. I, that's just what I've been bred to do. So uh, I don't know any other way. Both guys have so much on the line. For Frankie Edgar, it's important that he proves that the first fight was not a fluke, that he really does belong with the elite in the division. And for BJ Penn, it's very important that he win this rematch and take away the sting of the defeat that he suffered in Abu Dhabi. It's definitely a little more pressure, I think, just because I have to fight a rematch against a guy I just fought months ago. I not only have a repeat performance, I have to have a better performance. I'm not afraid to exchange with him in any way. I don't think he wants to exchange with me. He's going to be running around, and he's just going to try to jazz up what he did last time. You know, a little quicker, a little better, maybe throw a kick. And his corner, they don't have much to work with. They've only got Frankie Edgar. They don't have the knockout king, the submission king. They've got Frankie Edgar. I'm going in this to win. You know, I'm not going in saying, well, I only beat him once. I probably can't beat him again. Obviously, I have confidence in myself. I had confidence the first time, and, and now hopefully I can build on that confidence and even be more confident coming in the second fight. He can run around the ring all he wants. Sooner or later, he has to step up to me, and he has to do something. I want to knock him out or submit him or slam him on his head and have him get knocked out from that. I do believe I won this fight. You know, I train very hard, man. I don't train to lose, so I'm training my ass off to win. I'm all about finishing my guy, and I cannot wait, cannot wait to finish him. We're in the UFC. I want to show what real punches, real fighting's all about. James Tony picked a fight. James Tony chased me around the country, calling me names, calling me a sissy and a pussy, and that uh, we're afraid of boxing. Y'all scared to come to mine. I'm coming to yours. 
as long as I've been involved in this sport for the last 13 years, we've been compared to boxing, and I've heard plenty of boxers run their heads about how terrible we are at striking and how they knock us all out, and, and uh, James is the first one to step up and sign on the dotted line. <laughs> I was on his hit list. One of the guys, he said, oh, I'll knock him out. I'm like, I'm in. I've been the most feared man in boxing for the last 10 years. I'm the best, period. James Tony is one of the most skilled boxers to ever fight in boxing, and certainly the most skilled boxers to ever attempt a shot at mixed martial arts. I can say I'm the dark emperor. I mean, that, I mean, that reign of everything. <laughs> I think that James is just that cocky and that arrogant that, that he thinks he's just going to stroll in there purely as a boxer and, and get the job done. I don't think it's going to be enough to get the job done. Boxing is still only a small part of what we do as a mixed martial artist. And Randy Couture is an elite grappler, one of the very best to ever compete in mixed martial arts. It's bull. When I hit somebody on the chin, it's over with. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of this as James talks and says all these things, because it usually makes me smile. Oh, big uppercut! And he's got his neck! Couture's got him! Oh, and big right hand by Randy! Randy Couture is going to stop Chuck Liddell! Randy Couture is one of the very best mixed martial arts fighters at utilizing the cage almost as another weapon or a tool. He presses guys up against the cage and works them over with knees and punches and dirty boxing. He breaks them down and softens them up. And he's done that countless times. And, you know, that's going to be a very interesting thing because no one's ever done that to James Tony before. This is how Couture he's, has done it so many times. He's getting overwhelmed here. If James can keep the fight on its feet, man, it becomes exciting. Then it becomes a matter of what can Randy do to deal with the boxing of James Tony. So I need to be aware of where those are coming from and know those angles and that distance with him, uh, which is something I've got to study and get ready for. Because if I walk right in there, he, he will punch me in the head, and it could be good night. Get your arms underneath his... For James Tony, the question is, can he stop the takedown? This oh, is a takedown. He's 50 pounds heavy than him, and he's mad. Down he goes. Good night. I don't care about knocking him out. I just want to beat his ass. Good shot. Whatever he can do, go stop him knocking his ass out regardless. You ain't seen nothing yet. I think that this is a really important matchup for the lightweight division. Kenny Florian versus Gray Maynard fighting in Boston is going to be a tremendous advantage for Kenny. I'm really excited to be fighting in Boston. This is my dream come true. I'll be the home team that night. There's no doubt that with the crowd going as nuts as they are, I'm definitely going to get some extra motivation. Kenny Florian has choked out Takanori Gomi! What Kenny Florian brings to the table is an incredible, well-rounded game. His stand-up looked incredibly sharp in his last couple of fights. But Gray Maynard is a dangerous opponent for anyone at 155 pounds. Oh, nice He's got an excellent chin, he's an excellent wrestler, and he's got big power in his hand. Big punches by Maynard. If it's there, I'm going to jump on it and knock somebody out or tap somebody out. If Kenny Florian can't get past Gray Maynard, we have to wonder, what is the future for Kenny Florian? Every fight is important in the UFC. I consider every single fight a championship fight. Kenny Florian looking to win this fight! There's no part of his game that I don't think I can beat. Every fight's about breaking somebody's will. August 28th, I'm going to bring it to him. He's the bully. Let's see what happens when he's getting bullied around. Let's see whose will gets broken. They said you were going to destroy me, but you didn't. Again, he takes him down. What are they going to say when I beat you again? Newly crowned lightweight champion Frankie Edgar defends his title for the first time in a rematch against BJ Penn. Also, Randy Couture. Hey, Princess, I'm going to get you. It's UFC versus boxing as three-division world boxing champion James Lights Out Tony takes on five-time UFC champion Randy Couture. Tap Out presents UFC 118 live Saturday, August 28th, only on Pay-Per-View.